Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. This isn't a new project, um, but it's something that's helped me make some projects in the past, and more recently with the illuminated photo frames that I made. Now these are magnetic wires. Now they use uh, neodymium, neodyne, I don't know how you say it, um, those magnets, and uh, it uses copper tape with, uh, with a wire soldered to the copper tape so that it maintains the connection. It means you don't need to go anywhere near the the, uh, the magnet with your soldering iron, which will ruin magnets if they get too hot, so you don't need to do that. Um, you solder it to the tape and then you wrap the magnet, uh, wrap the copper tape around the magnet to, to create this connection. Now, they can be really useful. For the photo frames, for example, it means that you can put this wire to the power connections on the, on the photo frame and then daisy chain them along so that only one needs to be connected to the plug and you can just pull these wires across and connect them up. So it's really, really useful. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make them, if it's something that you're interested in. I'm sure you'll find a use for it if, uh, if you do a lot of electronic projects like this. Perhaps your battery box could be have these magnetic connections on the back and you could just plug it onto your project. Or you could have modules that you attach to your project, so your, perhaps your robot has, has code for an ultrasonic sensor, but nowhere to attach it to, you could just plug it on with, uh, with magnets. Anyway, I'll show you how it's done. Right, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need your magnets, you're going to need the copper tape, Ooh, it's a bit sticky, uh, you'll need a pair of wire cutters and you'll need some wire. I'm using solid core wire, you can use stranded if you like, I don't think it really makes a difference. In fact, stranded's probably better for conducting electricity because it has lots more copper surface on it. Um, so let's get going. So to start with, we're going to cut a length of wire. So I've got some wire cutters here. So we'll just give ourselves enough wire on there so that we can solder to this copper strip. And I'm not going to make it really long, but we'll take about 20 centimeters. And I'm not going to strip the other end because I don't need to do that yet. Now, we'll need a bit of copper strip sort of coming apart there and I think about five centimeters should do it but I might be wrong we'll see now I'm gonna to have to hold these two down so that I can solder them so if I just get something to place in there I've got a pair of pliers here that will do I'll just turn this around a little bit now I'm going to want to solder this to the solder this wire to the copper strip, but now it's going to ruin the the adhesive on the bottom of that. But it's okay because we've got five centimeters of the strip, so we can we can sort it out. It doesn't need to be a sticky part. Now I'm going to stick it on so it's at a horizontal angle, roughly, and you'll see why in a minute. So if I can do this without going too in the way of the camera. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Let's just bend this down a little bit. So it's touching. Right. Now this copper strip isn't going to uh, let me solder onto it all that easily. But we'll give it a go. You just sort of have to flood it with solder really. So I flooded it with solder and the wire as well. So let's just uh, focus you so you can see that. So you can see it's, it's fully attached, but it has destroyed the glue underneath. But that's fine. We don't need that bit of glue. We've got all of this bit down here. So now we've done that, we can take the strip off the back. If we start from the burnt end, that might be a good idea. This is a little bit fiddly. There we go. Now, if I can just get the magnet 
So if I just pop the magnet on there, on the slightly burnt bit, still sticking there, that's good. And we can just start wrapping the copper around. Now I'll just show you this a bit more closely. So you can see we're at a stage where uh, the magnet's still exposed on both ends here and we've got around a centimetre of copper left. Now the best thing to do is only close up one end. The magnet's got, not going to come out of that end but if we just bring it around so that it will close off this front end and we can sort of mash it a little bit and make sure that it's all stuck together and now that should hopefully stick to another magnet. Now you can now create an electrical connection using the magnets because it's running through this copper foil and down this wire.